Dr. Ralph Pascali is the director of Sleep Medicine Associates and the author of Snoring and Sleep Apnea. One of the tragedies in the United States is that students do not get enough sleep. And studies now looking at learning, at grade point average, many studies show that a student who doesn't have nine or ten hours is unlikely to make good use of classroom time. Ensuring sleep is probably more important than doing more homework. You need three things to be healthy. You need a good diet, you need regular exercise, and you need a lot of sleep. We know now about diet, everyone knows about exercise, but few people know about sleep. People think that cutting back on sleep is trivial. It's just a matter of toughing it or gutting it out. But you know, there's increasing research now following people for decades showing that people who are short sleepers die significantly earlier than people who don't. You know that many of the most tragic accidents we've had with ships, tankers, airplanes, trains, have been made by people who are sleep deprived. And there's also evidence now that decision makers who are assessing risk, for example, should you buy a stock or sell it, have a very different view of the decision if they're sleep deprived than if they're not sleep deprived. Sleepwalking is a good example of the way the brain works. It is essentially a mixed state. The brain is awake and the brain is asleep. And they'll do very bizarre things like, you know, driving, or eating, or urinating in the refrigerator, or <laughs> all kinds of things that can happen when, when you mix up different states. There are some other sleep disorders where people act out their dreams. I had a fellow who, uh, he dreamed he was swimming in a river, and then there was a snake in the river, and a newspaper was floating by, so he picked up the newspaper and he decided to wrap the snake in the newspaper, and he was awakened by his wife, who he was wrapping up in the blankets. These are frightening. At times they, they are milder, and someone will complain that their husband fights every night in the room. And they literally get up, they dream they're fighting, and then they go back to bed. Eventually, all of these people need help.